I get to spend life with you in so many different ways. Like I get to, I choose to, you know, um, I was listening to this podcast by uh, Justin Baldoni the other day and he was bringing forward that love is a choice. And the problem is these days that most people are not choosing it. And, and that just really resonated with me and cause that's a lot of what we talk about, how love is a choice. And so what we did is we created a relationship that was set up in a way that allows our choice of love to be expansive, to be connected, to be the very source of the joy and the connection that we have. That's rare. That's special. And I desire to protect that at all, you know, <laughs> across the board. That's something I desire to spend the rest of my life engaging in. I agree. But that statement breaks my heart. Not from anything you just said, just to say that most people aren't choosing love. Mm. To me, I don't know that most people have been given the opportunity to understand how to choose love. Mm. We have been fed fear for so long. We have been fed guilt. We have been fed shame. We even market it, mm-hmm. right? You're not good enough, so you need this product. Fear this, and then take this so that you're better. And I don't mean it as a slam. It's just our reality. Mm-hmm. And when you've had years and years and decades and of that being what you're surrounded by, it's hard to know that you have the option to choose love. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a very fair statement. And I pulled that quote from Justin like out of context and it was around how, you know, why do people break up? And it's because they just, they stop choosing it. And instead of, because you know, they feel these things that we were talking about, they feel trapped. They feel expect there's expectations around it so they don't feel the freedom to choose and i think that's what you're saying i just want to like pull that together uh in terms of the relevancy to it um thank you for clarifying but i do think it all goes hand in hand and that's why we're seeing younger individuals struggling to make romantic connections we're seeing marriages fail even and friendships. Even friendships. Right. Friendships hard. are down. Uh, I mean, the, the average male right now uh, over 30 has one friend, like one close friend. And that yeah. was a statistic that blew my mind. You know, just a few years ago, I think it was like three to five or something like that. So the fact that that many, you know, men are struggling to connect in that way. And I'm sure it is for women. I just didn't see the statistic for women. So it's, uh, it's not that it's above or below in any way. I, I don't know. But that just really hit me hard when I see some of the, some guys that you know I'm connecting with or, or getting closer with. It's just a thought that I have in my head. Um, how many others are, are out there that I, I are just seeking that to connect and just haven't been able to. 